G'day, Dave Slicer here again, working in the forest. Uh, here's a Lucas Mill, all broken down into its components. Um, rails, end frames, motor. Um, <coughs> as we go through the day, uh, we're going to just roll this log down, we'll set the mill up, and uh, you'll see it all go together. But there it is, all broken down into its components. Most people don't realise how transportable they are. Okay guys, so we've just put down uh, a couple of run, well, we call these runners, but these are like a, a bearer, you could say. You don't have to use them, but what it does is just stops the whole machine from sinking into the ground. Uh, so this is the start. We'll construct uh, one of the end frames. Um, so what we do is we grab one of these guys and we stick her in. So do you want your winches on, Chief? For maybe the maybe the braces this way then they're out of the way. Yeah. So they just slip down in there, turn around like that. Uh, initially you put your little stay out there like that just to hold it up. Um, then we grab the winch. So this adjusts your height up and down. So again there's a little sort of flat plate on the bottom there. That just slips in, you turn that around and that just stands there by itself. Uh, then we grab one of these, which that goes in here, just slips through like that, and you slide that puller into there. They're a bit springy, so you just got to run them into there. Just got to zero this down. You always got to start with that right down. That's down. All right, you get yours first, too. And then you've got a couple of pins that run into there. Uh, and that's basically joined one end frame up. All right, so we'll go up to the other end. The same thing again. Now, our rails will sit in these saddles, you could call them. Yeah, all this is pretty, we can shift all this around to align it with the log. That. Again, that goes in there, just spins around. And that's it, it's just not light, man. Just got to thread them through. Right over like that. On your sticker, Chief? Uh, that, I think. Oh, yeah, that's, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so that's locked it together. So basically, these uh, braces or stays, they now turn around like this. And when we get it all set up, we'll belt them pins in 
and they just stabilise the whole thing. So it's all pretty light. Probably the heaviest thing, all the rails are 33 kilos. Uh, yours, yours on the stand, is it? Yeah, about the same. Yeah, this is definitely it. But, um, how much? Just do, clamp yours up. Yep. Right, the whole, your whole frame, yep. got to go this yep. way. So as I say, it's all, it's all pretty light, pretty maneuverable. Uh, yeah, pretty simple. Simple is beautiful in the end. Okay. Um, spin them around. All right. So we got some. Uh, now these are four, two, so your rails are six metres. Now in order to cut six metres and to actually load the trolley, the motor, onto the runners, onto your rails, you need to put these frames up. And they just slip in there like that. The safety pin goes there. Um, next one. Again. And then we can just wheel that motor in like that. That goes like that. When you when we will wheel the motor in in a minute, which I'll do right now. Goes uh, in there like that. I just spin it around there like that. In there. And that's it. Just, yeah, don't do it yet. Um, okay. They drop out. And we come along. One. As you see, these little runners, these little rollers here, they sit on this track. Same on the other side. I just like to get it up a little bit. And uh, as you can see, I've just got a Just high enough to uh, get our wheels off. This is done. So that's it. Uh, All right. And your motor just runs out like that. As you see, my lovely assistant just comes in a little bit closer here. That's our water bottle. Cool saw blade, keep the sap, etc. off the uh, blade. This is only a six inch machine, it's the smallest of the Lucas Mills. Uh, it can get up to 10 inch. Um, they're just a much bigger, heavier machine. This is 130 kilos uh, of 10 inch. I think you're looking at about 180. And overall, just your same frame, but just bigger machine to manoeuvre. Uh, I kind of like the small one myself. But um, all pretty simple. That adjusts our cut on the horizontal. These are just our cuts on the vertical so we go up and down work out our increments uh, now we've just got to true the machine up what we're looking at is getting the two rails parallel doesn't matter if it's like that or that as long as the rails are parallel you throw your log up to your machine 
So you measure your height from the top of your rail or your trolley head down to the centre of your log. And again from, from the side of your rail over to the centre of your log. You square that up. Basically what we're doing is boxing out around the heart. Um, so we're cutting straight along the grain. All pretty simple. And fun. Okay. Um, so what we're doing, we're just uh, going along, we put some water in the machine. Uh, we're uh, lining it up to the log, so we're going to cut along the grain, not across the grain. Get the best out of our log. So we're basically going along, wider off. Uh, then the other one is to get your vertical height the same. So obviously we're going to take a little bit off that, but usually what you do is um, take a measurement from here to the centre of the log, go to the other end, measure the centre of the log. So when you're coming through, you come parallel with your, your centre. That's rubbish. Unless you're going to cut a 100 by 100 post or something like that out of there, you don't use it. So basically your box out around your heart is the term they use. Anyway, we'll fire her up and uh, start milling. <laughs> 